Welcome to Cavaletto Studios, I'm Chris. Today's peaceful yoga is a combination of gentle flow, blended with some twists and balanced postures. Bringing it all together, we will focus on our breath for a relaxed and peaceful practice. So let's get started. Let's begin in easy seat, crossing the legs. If you have a blanket or a block you'd like to sit on, feel free to get comfortable. We're gonna slide the shoulders down away from the ears and let the palms rest on the thighs. Tuck your chin into alignment and find your posture nice and tall. Let's start to focus in on our breath, inhaling nice and long, gentle, deep breath through the nose and slowly let it out through the nose. And again, inhaling and exhaling. And think about our breath today. It's gonna to be a peaceful flow, not only with our movements, but with our breath. Letting it peacefully flow in and out of the body. Calming the nervous system. If you're comfortable, you can close your eyes and just tune in to the body. Notice the connection into the earth. Align the ears over the shoulders, straighten up a little taller and then gently blink the eyes open and find a dristi, a non-moving focal point out in front of you. Then we're gonna slowly take the right arm out to the side, press it down onto the floor, lean into that right arm. Then take the left arm and reach it up and over the head to the sky and then all the way to the right. And then come back just with the arm to the left and then reach it over again to the right. And then continue this gentle flow, reaching it over, noticing the lengthening of the side of the body on that left side. Again, reach it over with the breath. And then exhale one more time. Inhale up and over. And then exhale out. And then bring that left arm to the floor. Bring the right arm up. Melt over to that left side. Nice breath. Exhaling. And then release the arm to the right. And then inhale up and over and then exhale it out and then inhale it up and over exhale it out continue flowing and then exhale it do two more times inhale reach it over feel the lengthening on the right side of the body and exhale and then one more time inhale and exhale, come back nice and tall. Pull the shoulders down and back. Take a deep breath, inhale, reach the palms overhead. Touch the palms, exhale, palms to heart space. Pull the shoulders down, elbows come up, pressing those palms, and then rotate the fingertips down towards the earth, and then back up towards the chin, and then back down, and then one more time, back up. Now very gently, staying tall through the spine, Press and turn both arms to the right, pressing your left palm into that right. Take a breath in. Exhale, rotate all the way to the left. Take a breath in. Exhale, rotate all the way to the right. Take a breath in. Exhale, rotate to the left. And then take one more breath in. Exhale, rotate all the way to the right. This time, release the fingers so you hold on to the right knee with the left hand. Lift and twist through the base of the spine. That right hand is behind you as a kickstand. Feel how deep you can get into that twist. One more breath in. And then as we exhale, release the head, then the arms. Inhale, reach all the way up to the center, to the sky and then exhale, palms to heart space. 
and just breathe. Feel the relaxation coming over the body. And now this time, gently press both palms together and then twist just the upper body to the left. Breathe in and then exhale, twist to the right. And then breathe in, exhale, twist to the left. Getting a little deeper each time. Inhale and then exhale, twist to the right. One more breath in, and we're going to twist to the left, and then release the hands and hold on to the thigh, bring the left hand behind you as a kickstand, get a deeper twist. And just breathe in and out. Notice what's going on in the body. One more breath. On your next inhale, you'll release the arms, reach the arms to the sky. And then exhale, leaning to the right, right arm on the floor, left arm overhead, and just pause and hold here. Feel the stretch up the side of the body. And then very gently transitioning, windmilling the whole body to the left, reaching the right arm overhead. And then inhale, both arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, palms back to heart space. Relax the shoulders. Rotate those fingertips down as you press the palms together. And then rotate them back up. And then release the palm side up on the thighs, shoulders back and down. Chin to chest. And then rotate the right ear to the right shoulder, stopping at the shoulder. Chin to chest and left ear to left shoulder, chin to chest. One more time, rolling the right ear to the right shoulder. Close the eyes, breathe in here. Exhale, chin to chest, and then rotate left ear to left shoulder, eyes closed, breathe in, chin to chest. Feel the nice stretch through the back of the neck. And then slowly bring the head back to neutral. Draw the chin into, the, into alignment. Then we're going to take our right leg and we're just going to extend it out to the right side. Diagonally out, keep that left foot in. We're going to lift both arms up to the sky. And then we're going to exhale, reach the right arm to the right toe, left arm overhead. And then we're going to inhale, lift to the sky. Left arm behind us, just lean it over to the left, right arm overhead. And then we're going to flow back and forth, so reaching back to that right leg. And then lift up and smile, point the right toe as you bend into that left arm on the floor behind you. And then flex the foot as you come up and reach for that right foot, but the left arm comes overhead and then flow back again, back to the left, point that right toe. And we're going to change it up a little here. So we're going to lift and bend and lean to the right, reaching for that right toe. Hold it here for a moment. Open up the chest. Reach the left arm diagonally up overhead and turn your palm so it's facing front, so the thumb is facing your foot. And really push on either your toe, the inside of your ankle, or your foot, and open up that chest. So we tend to collapse down. Really open it up. And breathe. And then one more breath. Now on your exhale, you're going to take that top left arm, bring it behind you on the floor, point your right toe, lean over into that left elbow and, and left hand, bend it so you have support on the floor. Option to rotate up onto that left knee and lift and open again. And then sweep that right arm down in front. We're going to pull the right foot in, back to an easy seat, and then extend that left leg out. So make those adjustments. One side might be a little easier than the other. Take a breath in and up. And then exhale, lean it to your left, reaching overhead, and then Come all the way to the other side, reaching it to the right, point the left toe. Inhale, flex and rotate to the left as you exhale when you get there. 
inhale, lift. And then exhale to the other side, point that toe. And again, we'll alternate flowing side to side. And then point the toe, lean it to the left, opening up the chest wall, but really just leaning right here. And then flex the foot. We're going to hold it here, extend overhead. So here you're going to hold on to the toe or the foot. Extend the right arm up, turn the palm open, thumb towards the foot, and then really open up that chest. And notice the difference on this side. One more breath here. And then we'll take that right hand to the floor behind us. Bend the elbow, left arm overhead. Option to rotate up onto that knee, that right leg. Another breath here, really open up that chest. And then we're going to sweep that arm down and come back to center. And then pull that knee in and then bring the bottoms of the feet together. And then just flap those knees up and down like a butterfly. And then we're going to hold on to the ankles and start to draw gentle little circles with the body. Now we're going to tune into our breath here. We're going to lift and inhale. And then we're going to exhale, rotating and rounding through the front. And then inhale, lift tall. Exhale as you circle to the front. Inhale, tall. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift. The last one. Exhale, forward. And then change direction. Inhale, tall. Exhale, forward the other direction. Inhale, tall. And take it at your own pace. Just ease around and into it. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift. One more circle all the way around. All the way. And then when we come back to the center, we're going to lift nice and tall. Pull the shoulders down and back. Start to hinge forward. Leaning it forward. And then slowly release. We're going to hug the knees into the chest. Lift as tall as you can. Find the length of the spine and the neck. And then we're going to cross the legs and we're going to transition to tabletop. So coming all the way into the tabletop. Spreading out those fingers, pressing them into the floor. Bring your knees underneath your hips. Catch cow. So round through the back, tuck the chin, pushing into the tops of the feet. And then inhale, lift and open. And then exhale, round. Inhale, lift and open. And then exhale, round, last one. And inhale, lift and open. And then we're going to find our neutral spine. If you need to wiggle it out, we're loosen things up. Take your left hand and you're going to extend it to the front of the mat. Thumb is up and take your right leg behind you. Extended tabletop, engage the core and then very slowly we're going to flow peacefully. Tap the hand and the knee to the or the foot to the floor and extend back up to extended tabletop. Exhale down, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift, and exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Then bring your left arm out to the side, right leg out to the side. And again, down and up. Inhale, lift, exhale, down. Warming up through the core, lift and inhale. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. You have one more. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, extended tabletop, arm to the front, leg to the back. And then slowly bend the knee, bring the hand and the knee to the floor. We're going to the other side. That just felt so good. So right arm out, left leg out. Extend through the spine, shoulders relax, and then tap the fingertips and the foot to the floor. Inhale, lift, extended table. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Inhale, lift, 
exhale down, inhale, lift and hold. We're gonna turn our right palm towards the floor, reach it out to the right side, point your left toe, bring it out to the side, lower and lift, trying to stay neutral through the spine, lower and lift, we have two more, lower, lift, we have one more, lower, lift, extended tabletop, and breathe and hold here, and then bend the knee, hand and knee to the floor. Separate your knees, feet together, let's find our child's pose. Walk the fingertips forward, draw the forehead to the mat. Feel the nice stretch through the spine and the armpits. One more breath. We're going to spread out our fingers and then we're going to slowly rotate, lifting up away from the heels, tuck the toes, find your downward facing dog, and then pedal out your feet, massaging the bottoms of your feet, shifting through your hips. Walk your dog. Just enjoy it. And then soften the knees, draw your belly towards your thighs, rock up into those toes, back into the heels, soften the knees again. Let your head hang between your arms, spread out those fingers. And then very slowly, we're gonna walk ourselves forward, finding our forward fold. Just take it slow, bring your feet about hip distance apart, maybe one or two fists between your feet, and then hold your elbows and shift your body gently side to side. That forward fold, feel the lengthening. Slowly bringing the fingertips to the floor, or then we're gonna bring them to the shins. Let's take a half lift, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, let's rise all the way up, extend the arms to the sky, exhale, palms to heart space. Relax the shoulders, let's open up to mountain and just breathe here for a moment. Feel your feet grounding into the earth, spread out the toes, maybe pick them up and then push the toes into the floor and lift the big toes and then let them all go back to the floor. Inhale the arms up. And then exhale both palms together behind the back, interlacing those fingers, pressing those palms together. Never yanking or pulling, just find a comfortable place here. Take a breath in and then option to add a forward fold. Exhale, bringing the head towards the knees, reaching the arms overhead. And just breathe here. One more breath. And then we'll slowly start to rise up, bring the hands back down. And once you get nice and tall, release the fingertips, inhale them up to the sky. Exhale, palms to heart space. With the palms at heart space, lower the shoulders, lift the elbows. Twist first to your right, keeping the hips facing forward. Get a nice twist for the upper body. Take a breath in. And then exhale, gently press through the center, twisting to the left. And breathe in. And then exhale and twist back to center. Turn your fingertips towards the floor, but keep your elbows up. Pressing the palms together so you get a nice forearm stretch. And then back, fingertips up. And then release your hands, opening to mountain. Guiding and directing again, adjust your toes, make sure they're not turned open, they're facing the front. Palms are open, grounding into the earth. Let's hold the body position and just tune into your breath, a gentle flow, peaceful, peaceful flow of the breath. Notice how it feels coming in and out of the nose. And then we're gonna take a breath in, let's add the arms, inhale, reach. Exhale, gently press the palms and fingertips together as they float down to your chest, to your heart space. Press your thumbs into your sternum and then shift your body weight to the left foot and take your right foot back to warrior one and draw both arms up to the sky. 
and make adjustments. Both hips are facing the front of your mat. Draw the thumbs back and breathe. And then turn your palms to face the front of your mat. And then bend the elbows as you bend deeper into your legs to cactus arms and bending into that front knee. And then inhale the palms up to the sky. They still face the front. And then exhale back into cactus arms, opening up through that chest. And then very slowly take your palms together behind your back. Interlace those fingers, press those palms, open that chest, draw the hands down towards the back thigh. Take another breath in. On your exhale, humble warrior, bringing your chest or head towards the knee, arms up. And then slowly release the fingertips all the way to the floor. One on either side of the foot. Step further back to find your lunge. So your right hand is next to your left foot. This is where you might want to block if it's very challenging to be here in this posture. You can always lower your knee to the floor if that feels better to you. Then we're going to place our left hand on the outside of that left thigh or knee and start to twist your shoulders, opening up, twist towards the left, trying to stack your shoulders. You can even move your left hand to the hip or even extend it up to the sky and press through that back right foot and think peace and length. One more breath and then we're gonna slowly bring that hand back to the floor and step back to the plank. We're going to lower our knees to the floor and pull the toes up. So you're on your knees, extend through the spine and then slowly lower your elbows and your body, elbows to the ribs, body to the floor, chaturanga, knees still bent. Slide your palms and your forearms to the floor and gently just lift to a very baby little mini cobra. Feet are still up. Feel the extension pressing into the palms, lengthening through the spine and the belly. Looking forward and then exhale. Go ahead, release your toes to the floor, palms next to the chest. Slide back into child's pose. Pressing your hips to your heels. Nice breath. And then slowly tuck the toes and shift back to your downward facing dog. Walk out those feet, pedal them out if you need to. And then very slowly walk your feet forward to another forward fold. Feet about hip distance apart. Hanging out here. Let's take a half lift. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, flow. Slow, flow down to the floor. And exhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, palms to heart space. Find your mountain, release those fingertips, open them up. Take a breath in, rise all the way up. Tap those fingers, not the toes, the fingers, and bring them back to heart space. Lean and shift your body weight to the right foot and take the left foot back, finding your warrior one. Pressing the left back outer edge of your foot into the floor. Arms go to the sky. Palms face each other. Bending into that front right knee. Notice if that calf is tight or not. And then turn your palms to face the front of the mat. And then slowly bend the elbows. Find your cactus arms. Opening up that heart space. Let's breathe in. Extend the arms to the sky. Exhale. Arms back to cactus arms. Breathe in, extend the arms. Exhale back to cactus arms and just hold here, opening up that heart space. And then another breath, holding it in. The palm, then the arms are wide and then we're going to rotate. Exhale, palms behind the back, interlace those fingers. And then exhale, humble warrior. Drawing the shoulders towards the knee, drawing the nose down, lifting the arms. One side might be very different than the other. 
slowly releasing the fingertips to the floor. Step your left foot back, find your lunge. This is where you might want to block under your left hand next to that right foot. Wiggle that left leg back if you need to or lower to the floor if that feels better to you. Place your right hand on the outside of the thigh and then start to twist your body towards that right thigh, stacking the shoulders. Option to bring the right hand to the hip or even to the sky. And feel that lengthening of that left leg behind you. One more breath. And then we're going to bring the hands all the way back to the floor. And we're going to step back into that plank. Lower the knees to the floor. Lift those toes up. Nice and strong and long through the spine. Elbows start to draw towards the rib cage, lowering down very slowly. Exhaling out. Till the belly gets to the floor. Press your arms into the floor. Go ahead and let your toes come all the way to the floor. So your fingertips are wide, pressing into the floor. Elbows are out to the side. And then gently press up to a little baby modified cobra. But your elbows are a little wider than normal. And just really draw your palms into the floor so you can draw your body forward, lengthening through the belly. And then exhale all the way back down, hands next to the chest. Gently press back, separate your knees. Feet together, arms forward. Find your child's pose for a moment. Take a breath in. And then I want you to rise up just with the upper body. Lift the right hand up. Stay as low as you can in your child's pose and draw your right arm underneath, threading the needle and lowering to that right shoulder. Now walk your left fingertips overhead towards the front of the mat. So you're really lengthening through that left armpit and wiggle those right fingertips. Another breath. Press your right palm into the floor. Lift your head, slide that left arm out. Reach it to the front of your mat. Staying as low as you can. Thread the right, left hand underneath. Rotate, trying to get your head towards the floor. And then walk those right fingertips further up the mat. Wiggle those left fingertips. And just breathe in the peace and the calm into your body. Feel that nice stretch through the shoulder. Place your right palm on the floor, coming back to center. We're going to now come to a uh, child's pose in a pause here. Forehead to the mat and just breathe a peaceful breath. From here, we're slowly going to lift the head. Start to shift your body up off your heels so you can tuck your toes and then come into a downward facing dog. And make those adjustments, adjust those hips by moving them. And we're going to do a very gentle, peaceful vinyasa flow here. So we're slowly going to shift to a plank and then slowly elbows in, lowering down to the chaturanga. Untuck the toes, gently press up. Now you can do a little cobra or you can do a full upward facing dog. Tuck those toes, exhale downward facing dog. We're going to shift back into that plank. It's just a little mini flow here. And then exhale gently down. Untuck the toes, inhale, lifting up. Option to be on your knees if you need to. Tucking those toes and exhale back to that downward facing dog. Feel your feet grounding into the earth. Feel each fingertip pressing into the earth. Draw into that downward facing dog, belly to the thigh, head between the arms. I want you to bend the knees and slowly shift your hips as you walk your feet forward to a forward fold. But now we're going to draw the big toes together when we come to our forward fold. And we're going to draw the thighs together. Take a half lift. Inhale, straighten the arms and the legs, flatten the back and inhale. 
exhale, fold, soften or bend the knees, draw the hips down, lift the of arms and the head to find your Uttatasana chair pose, draw the arms back, sitting into it, exhale, fold, straighten the arms and the legs to the head to the knees, and then inhale back to your chair. This time we're going to inhale, rise. All the way up, slight back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way back up. Nice and tall. Exhale, palms to heart space. And then start to sink into your chair pose. But twisting at the same time, drawing your right elbow or tricep to the left thigh. Let's stack our shoulders again, pressing those palms together and breathe. Now, if you have a more advanced posture or variation you would like, feel free. You can stay here or you can even open your arms nice and wide or staying here. You can even take your left arm and place it behind the back and open the right arm to the floor. So you have lots of variation options here. One more breath. And we're slowly going to release, twist to the center, rise to the sky. As we inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise to chair. Uttatasana. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to the sky. This time we're going to exhale, palms to heart space, twist to your right left arm to the right thigh, stacking the shoulders again, sitting into those heels, sinking into the hips. Option, your arms can open, maybe your right arm goes behind the back, maybe they stay pressed, those palms. Lots of options here. Lengthen through the neck, one more breath. After your next exhale, You'll take an inhale, release, rise to the sky as you untwist. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find your chair, drop your hips, lift your upper body. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Good. Exhale, palms to heart space, twisting, dropping back into the chair, twisting to your left. Take a breath, inhale, press to the sky. Palms stay together, exhale to the right with a twist into chair. Inhale, rise. All the way up, release those fingertips. Exhale, forward fold. And just hang out here, maybe hold the elbows. Maybe your fingertips are on the floor. And then just alternate straightening and bending the knees. Do a little shift through those hips. And then inhale, rise all the way back up. Exhale, palms to heart space. Release the palms next to the body. Find your mountain. You're going to take a step a little. Bring your feet about as wide as your mat. So about as wide as your mat. And turn your toes, though, so they're both facing forward and they're wider than your hips. Open up that chest. Shift all your body weight into the right leg and extend your right arm diagonally out. And then take your left toe and start to point to the toe. And the left arm is following that leg, that left leg. And you're going to do a half star. Lift possibly that left leg off the floor. And then you're going to take a breath in. And then on the exhale, pull the left knee into the chest. And then on the inhale, we're going to extend the left leg out and the arms out. Back to that half star. And then exhale, bring the knee in. And inhale, extend, keeping that balance. And then exhale in, last one. And then extend, ta-da, and then bring that toe to the floor, shift your body weight back to center, inhale, reach the arms, exhale, palms to heart space, 
Find your grounding into the floor with those feet, lengthening through the neck. Shift your body weight into the left leg. The right heel comes off the floor. Extend the arms like you're saying, ta-da, look at me. Bring that right leg off the floor, breathing into it. And feel the peace. Feel the peace as you breathe, as you ground into the floor. And then bring that right knee into the chest. <sighs> nice exhale. And extend out to the side. Inhale. Point that right toe. And then exhale. Extend it in. And out again. And in. When we smile and we laugh and we wobble, it's so good for the body because then we find humor and it just calms our body in peace. Last one. In. Bringing that knee in, extend it out. Ta-da! And then shift back into both feet. Nice and wide. Turn those toes slightly out. Take a breath in. Reach the arms overhead. Exhale, palms to heart space. And then shift right and left into the feet, bending the knees, just noticing what's going on in the ankles when you do this. And then we find our center. Turn the toes forward and maybe in just slightly like they're pigeon-toed. And then again, a small bend of the knees, shifting side to side. It's going to feel a lot different. Bending into those ankles and then find your center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive all the way down. And then walk your body to the right side, the right leg, maybe holding behind the ankle or under the foot to draw the belly and the nose to the knee. Feeling the stretch up the outside of the calf. And then very slowly let your body shift to the other side. Your upper body reaches to the left foot. Just hang out here and notice the difference. Soften the knee. The joints are relaxed and then back towards the center. Go ahead and turn your toes back to neutral. Hands on the low back. Inhale, root lot. Rise all the way up. <sighs> Find that tall spine. Give it a little wiggle. Inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale, palms to heart space. Let's bring both feet back together at the front of the mat, so heel toe it in or just step them in. Press those palms together. Soften the knees, twist to your left, pressing those palms in. Slight tilt with the left shoulder toward the floor, right shoulder up. And then come all the way through the center. Twist to the right. If this bothers your back, don't add the tilt. And drop your right shoulder back, left shoulder up. And then coming back to center. Press the walls away both arms out wide, flip your palms up, thumbs come back even further, draw the head to look up diagonally at the ceiling without compressing the vertebrae in the back of your neck. Take a breath in and reach those arms to the sky, tap the fingertips, swan dive, exhale, forward fold. Bend those knees, good, step back into your tabletop, and here we're going to separate your knees, feet together, and we're going to slide our hips back to our heels. We're going to bring the fingertips together again, interlace them, and then you're going to draw your palms between your thighs and try to hug and come underneath and slide in between your legs and just turn one side of your head to the floor. Ah, and just relax here. And then very slowly, we're going to lift the head, rotate it to center, slide the arms out. Take a breath in, reach the arms overhead. And then exhale the hands way out in front of you on the mat. And remember which side of your head you had on the mat earlier with our child's pose. We're going to come back up to tabletop. And then shift your hips slightly forward so you come into a modified plank and then you're going to slide your right knee to the right wrist and then pull your right ankle 
in front of your left thigh. So you're working your way to pigeon, but I want you to lengthen through the spine first. If you need a block or blanket under your right hip, feel free. Start to slide your left leg way back behind you. So you're shifting and sliding into that right hip on the floor. We're gonna do something a little different with our hands today. We're taking them wide out in front of us on the mat, and we're going to lower to our forearms. So both hands are, they're pretty wide. Our arms are wide on the mat. You're leaning forward, and then just start to melt your belly and your head to the floor. And adjust your arms as needed. And just breathe. Tuck your left toe under and see if you can straighten out your left leg, lifting the knee slightly off the floor. And then let it rest back on the floor and untuck that left toe. Take another breath in. And then press into the palms and the forearms. Start to lift your upper body and keep your hands right where they are and just straighten out your arms. Lengthening through that left hip and then slowly lower your upper body to the floor, forehead to the mat. And then breathe in, lengthen and come up again. And then exhale, lower the belly, lower the forehead. Last one, lengthen and lift. And breathe here, staying here. We're walking the hands closer to the shin. See if we can get a little more length through that back left hip flexor. Then we're gonna shift onto our right butt cheek or right hip. Bring your left leg all the way up and forward and place your left foot on the floor. So you can sit both sits bones down. You're gonna hug your knee. Now if you can, you can always cross that left leg over the right and give it a nice hug and a twist. Bring your left arm back behind you for a kickstand. So you get a nice counter stretch through that left hip. Take a breath. And then very slowly, we're going to unwind, bring that left leg back, come back to your tabletop. We're gonna separate the knees, feet together, slide your hips back, interlace your fingers, and we're going to draw them between the thighs again, lowering down, trying to tuck yourself between your legs. Remember whatever side you had, I had my right side down before. So now I'm gonna turn the left side of my head or ear to the floor and just lower down. Now, if your head doesn't go to the floor, that's okay. Do what you can. If there's a variation you prefer, feel free. One more breath. And then slowly lifting the head to neutral, sliding the hands out from underneath and bringing the fingertips forward. So you can shift first into your tabletop, walking the hands forward, and then shifting to a modified plank lengthening through the spine, and then bring your left knee to the left wrist. Pivot your left ankle in front of your right knee or towards your right, right wrist. Start to slide backwards. So you're sliding into that left hip or glute. This is where you would throw a block or blanket under there if there's a lot of space between your body and the floor. Walk your hands nice and wide and out in front of you so your forearms and elbows and palms can be on the floor. And then you're gonna to start to lower your upper body. And maybe this is as far as you can go, that's okay. Maybe you bring your forehead to the floor and adjust the arms. So there's no tension in the neck or the shoulders. We're gonna tuck our right toes under, try to lift the right knee off the floor, feel that stretch in the left glute. Lower that leg back to the floor and then untuck the toe so you really melt into that left hip. Lifting the head off the floor, press into your palms and your forearms, start to lift the upper body as you straighten out the arms. Feel that nice stretch through that right hip and then lower back down, melting a little deeper. Let's inhale and lift the upper body again. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Last one. We're gonna inhale, lift and hold. 
and then start to walk the fingertips closer to the shins. Feel, or the left shin, not both shins. Your right one's behind. Feel that hip flexor on the right side, lengthening, stretching out. No pressure in the neck or the shoulders here. Now we're gonna shift onto our left hip or glute. Pull that right leg back all the way to the front. Pull it up. Place the right foot on the floor, lengthen through the spine and hug it in. Now if you can go deeper, you can always bring that foot across that left thigh. Hug that right knee into the chest with the left arm and twist your body to the right. And just feel that nice counter stretch for that right hip and leg and glute. Find your breath. Find the length of your spine. One more inhale and exhale. Go ahead and release. Unwind, go ahead and bring those legs out in front so you can scoot yourself a little closer to the front of your mat. Make sure you have room behind you to lay down. Heels are on the floor, toes up and spread out the toes. Hold the back of the thighs, lengthen and start to hinge at your hips so you start to lean back and feeling the engagement of the core. Find your boat pose, maybe release the arms. Option to hold them up in the, the legs in the air or release. Relax the shoulders and just breathe here. And then we're going to inhale the arms up, press the palms and exhale the palms to heart space. And your legs can be in any posture that you would like. A four boat can be on the floor or your feet can be up. So think of your shins as a table so you can put a tray across them and then slowly press the palms as you twist to the left, flexing those feet. And then we're going to inhale to the center and exhale to the right. And then again, inhale through the center and exhale to the left. Embrace that shakiness. Anyone shaking? A little wobbliness. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Let's find our peace. A nice exhale, strong exhale. That helps us relax a little more. Back to center. Let's hug the knees and see if we can hover over the floor with the feet not touching. Lengthen through the spine. Breathe in. Hug the knees tighter. Pull the shoulders to the ears like you're squishing into a little ball. And then exhale. Lower yourself all the way to the floor. When you come to the floor, let your knees come back to the chest. and then release both feet to the floor. Walk your feet in towards your hips, about hip distance apart, and completely relax those shoulders. We're gonna take the right ankle and we're gonna cross it over the left thigh and just press that right knee open. And breathe here for a moment. Bring the arms to cactus arms, pulling the the palms are to the sky, the back of the hands to the floor, and then press into the left leg and lift to a single leg bridge. And breathe it in, open up that right knee, and then slowly lower, keeping the leg crossed. Shift your hips slightly to the left, and then drop both knees to your right, keeping that right foot on top of the left. So you get a nice twist and turn your head to the left. Continue breathing here. One more breath. And you'll bring your head back to neutral, slowly rotate the knees back to neutral, slide your hips back to neutral. Extend your right leg to the sky, hold on to the back of the right thigh, or up the, th you can go up into the calf, and then straighten your left leg. Let's rotate that right ankle, get a nice stretch through the hamstring, and then reverse rotation. So you're going both directions and then change them again. And then option here is to relax your ankle and your foot, bring your head to your knee, take a breath in, and then exhale back down. Hug that right knee into the chest 
and then place that right foot on the floor. Draw the left knee in and cross your left ankle over your right thigh. And again, adjust your right foot so it's in alignment with your hip. Open up that left knee, bring your arms to cactus arms. Flex your left foot and then gently press into your right foot to lift to a bridge. And then slowly lower those hips to the floor. Shift both hips slightly to the right so you can drop your knees to the left. And just breathe and then look to the right so you get a nice twist through the torso and the hip. Inhale and exhale. Slowly bring your head back to neutral, lifting the knees back to neutral again, bringing your hips to center, your right foot to the floor, and then extend your left leg up as we hold on to the back of the thigh, or you can slide up to the calf and straighten out that right leg and then rotate the ankle. And then change direction. Noticing the difference between the right and the left leg. And then pause and relax your ankle. Take a breath and lift the head to the knee. And then slowly lower your head back to the floor. And then bend the knee. Place that left foot on the floor. Bring your right leg to join it. Both feet about hip distance apart. Reach your hands towards your heels. And then bring your arms to cactus arms. Walk those feet in all the way together now. So they're touching, the thighs are touching. Drop both knees to your right. Pull the knees as they're stacked up towards your right elbow. And then release the feet back down to the floor. They're still stacked. Rotate your hips back to neutral. Bring your, your knees back to neutral and your feet on the floor. Then drop both knees to your left and then pull them up towards your left elbow. The feet come off the floor and then feet go back to the floor. Come back to neutral. Hips on the floor. Bring your arms next to the body. Turn your palms up. And then we're going to slide the legs straight out from the body. Let the legs fall open. Let's find our Shavasana. Relax the shoulders. Close your eyes. Let your legs just relax and melt into the floor. Start to breathe in gently, peacefully, calmly through your nose. And then slowly let it out. Feel a peace washing over your body as you slowly breathe in and out. Knowing that we did a very gentle, peaceful flow, got things moving and stretched out. Hopefully calm the mind slightly. One more breath. If your eyes are closed, maybe you flutter them open, maybe you wiggle your fingers and your toes, you're welcome to stay here in Shavasana, or you can hug your knees into your chest, or you can roll to your side and work your way up to a seated position, or roll yourself all the way up. And then turning into a nice, tall, seated posture. You can sit on a block or blanket. Find your Sukhasana, your easy seat. Shoulders back and down, palms face down on your thighs. Draw your chin into alignment. Check in with that posture. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And exhale it through the mouth. And another one of those, it's a cleansing breath, bringing peace, breathe peace into the body, inhale. And a nice strong exhale to the mouth with a smile on your face. Take a deep breath in, reach those fingertips all the way up to the sky. Exhale, palms to heart space, pressing those palms together, 
lowering the shoulders, thumbs touching the sternum, lifting those elbows. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.